welcome to my channel my name is London today I thought it would be fun to find my oldest eyeshadow palette and to try and get a look with it now I originally was looking up everything to see what was the oldest it's very difficult to find the actual release date of palettes that are older than five or six years old so I believe my oldest palette that I bought is the Naked Original palette, which I believe was like 10 years ago, either like 2010 or 2011, which is insane. That's almost 10 years ago. Can you guys believe that? That's insane. But the palette that I have that I have not decluttered yet is the Kat Von D spell binding eyeshadow book now i remember i believe this was in 2013 i remember getting this for a holiday so i'm pretty sure this was a limited edition holiday palette like she's done for years and years but this is from 2013 and i remember exactly the reason why i bought this so i have been obsessed with makeup geek for years and marlena sell for years for so long it was like ray ray william johnson marlena and like a few other people jenna marbles that i watched like religiously years ago but i remember i would buy so much stuff because of marlena <laughs> Uh, and I still do. She still makes me buy so much stuff. She recently came out with a video with like facials and stuff. And I was like, oh, now I want to get a facial. But if you want to see a look using this palette and all its glory, then keep on watching. <laughs> now I zoomed you guys in a little bit, but I wanted to get a little bit deeper dive into this palette. Now it does have this little plastic sheet that you fold over the eyeshadows with, but originally this eyeshadow palette was used for, um, to like pair up the shades. So like you would use these two shades or these two shades these two shades together and I religiously did that but back like six years ago right 2013 was six years ago six seven eight nine yeah six years ago this was an awesome palette and I remember really enjoying this palette and I've dug into it a ton but I don't really use it anymore I'm just gonna get rid of any creasing. I just use it mainly for nostalgic memories, I guess. But <laughs> let's try and do something with this. So if you keep hearing this noise of this thing, I'm just flipping it back and forth. But I think I wanna take Birdcage, which is the green shimmery green shade right there and i want to put this oh this is going to annoy the heck out of me i want to put this right in my inner part of my eye but i'm really curious because the way that i wanted to do this video or the reason that i wanted to do this video was because i initially was going to film a video over my entire eyeshadow palette collection and if you guys are new and haven't watched any of my recent videos, I have been in a little bit of a makeup funk lately and I just hated <laughs> my personality in that video. I don't know what was up with me. I don't know if it's like hormones or just the weather or what, but I was in a bit of a funk and I didn't feel like myself and but going through all of those palettes made me realize that I have some really fond memories with this specific palette. The next shade that I want to go into is Bugowski. I think that's how you say it, but it's this shimmery blue shade on the bottom there. I'm just going to take the same brush and I'm going to try 
and wing this out. I'm really packing a lot of the eyeshadow onto this brush because I know that there isn't any fallout, but you do need to kind of hack it on there to get the pigments that you want. But that, back to what I was saying, I'm really curious. Does anybody else have eyeshadow palettes that are like five, six, etc. years old? If so, I would love to know what your oldest eyeshadow palette is. Please comment down below. I'm so curious to know what it is. Even if it's only like, say you just got into makeup, even if it's your oldest palette is like a year old, I still want to know. Like, I'm curious. What is the one that you have continuously held on to? It is your makeup baby. Next shade I'm going to take is Wonderland, which is this sparkly dark purple over here. I'm going to put this ugh, over the blue shade over here. Now, I'm pretty sure that this eyeshadow is expired. I'm not pretty sure. I almost know that it's expired, but I don't really care. <laughs> like, I never reach for this palette just because at its time, this was a bomb palette. This was such a cool palette. But like now, with so much new stuff that has come out, and different eyeshadow formulas and techniques this isn't really up to par anymore i guess you could say like it's still a good usable palette but if you compare it to any eyeshadow palettes that are popular that have come out in the last couple months like it's not going to compare just gonna blend out that Wonderland with Bukowski. Oh, like, look how easy this blends out. Like, it just blends and blends. Now, obviously, you are probably not gonna be able to get your hands on this palette anymore, but I'm just curious. Like, does anyone remember this palette? How old was I six years ago? Um. 16? I was 16 six years ago. This is the kind of stuff I was into six years ago. Now I kind of want to take, I remember I loved this shade. It's called Babe. It was like the first like duochrome shade I was like super obsessed with. Now it's not really a duochrome shade, but it was like our purpley blue shade and it's prime powdery this one is definitely expired spray the brush watch me get an eye infection for doing this or like i break out all over my eyes wow with it wet it still looks like it used to i used to use this shade every single freaking day anytime that i could use this shade i would i thought this was the most magical thing I've ever gotten in my entire life. I remember walking into Sephora. I believe it was the Sephora in Frisco or maybe even Dallas, but I drove there by myself and I was supposed to be getting a bunch of Christmas presents for everybody, AKA being Santa, but I really wanted this palette. So I went in and I got it and I asked the lady at Sephora like where it was. I got it early before it sold out and I, this was like my child. Like I did not leave the house without, like this was everything I could ever ask for. <laughs> and it was this, the Naked One palette. And I think I had a couple other random palettes like I remember one of the first eyeshadow palettes that my mom bought me was we went to a makeup counter and <laughs> mom, I love you, but my mom is not the biggest makeup junkie per se. And she just took me to a makeup counter. It was an Estee Lauder counter and they sold 
my mom like a holiday bundle for me where it had like a mascara this was in middle school so this was like i don't know like 10 years ago and it had an eyeshadow quad of a bunch of purples because the lady was like oh she has green eyes purple looks really good with green eyes so i literally wore it like a lilac purple eyeshadow it was probably a little bit lighter than this one all over my eyes no blending i just like packed it all over my eyes i looked like a weirdo in middle school i'm not showing anybody what i look like in middle school i had a glow up just saying now i think i want to take hexagram which is this greenish purple duochrome shade that has like a nail mark in it oh this one's powdery too <laughs> i'm gonna take arcadia that lavender shimmer shade that I showed you earlier. And I'm gonna put this in between the two shades. I'm not gonna wet it. Maybe I should, uh, no, it's fine. Man, if my younger self saw me doing this, I think I would faint. And then I'm gonna highlight my inner corner using Insta Glam, which is this shimmering pink shade over here. We're on a highlight. This was definitely the bomb.com. Another shade that I used to be obsessed with, but I never really used it because I was always afraid of it, was this color called Odd Pillow, which is a black with blue shimmer in it. It's this one right here. I loved this shade but it always freaked me out because it was a black i'm just gonna take it on my lower lash line i feel a little bit of fallout on my face i don't know if that's glitter or what all right with a little bit of a smaller brush i'm gonna take a similar shade gunner which is a green eyeshadow with kind of bluish teal glitter flecks in it. Meet it up with that black shade. Now we're gonna highlight my brow bone with the shade Holy Bible, which is this light shimmering blue shade. Oh man, this palette still got some. I'm gonna take more of that Bogowski. I know everyone's anti Kat Von D right now, but I mean, I am too in a way. I just have like salty feelings, but at the same time, like Kat Von D makeup was so inspiring to me, especially looking back at this palette and some of her other palettes. And now to try and keep to using as many eyeshadows as I can. I'm gonna use Dark Throne, which is the matte black at the bottom there. And I'm gonna take an angled brush. I'm gonna wet it just a tad. I'm gonna line my eyes. Oh. Goodbye, friend. All right, so I just put a little bit of mascara on and I wanted to pick out my, I believe this is my oldest lipstick from Kat Von D other than Witches, but it's the shade Vampira. It's really dry. I probably should throw it out, but I love this. Well, that took me a freaking minute to do it. But this is a shade Vampira. I love these. Another thing is I wanted to run through just a couple of the Kat Von D eyeshadow palettes that I have still. I have decluttered a ton of palettes in the last couple years, the last two years, where I just got so overwhelmed and I was giving them away. I was throwing them away that were expired and I was just anywhere I could get to them out of my space I did but the ones that I did keep is the Kat Von D shade and light eyeshadow palette I don't use this a ton but I do like having this on hand for traveling purposes like if I wanted to bring just this palette 
and another colorful palette then I will do that. The next one I believe was last year? No, not this last holiday but the holiday before that was when the Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette came out. I was so disappointed in this palette. I gave in and bought this because I kept swatching this Sacred Heart shade. Like every time that I went to Sephora, I'd swatch this. I was like, oh, that's such a pretty shade. And then I'd swatch um, this kind of blue brown shade. I don't know. I just kept swatching them and swatching them. And then I finally gave in and bought it. And it was not what I was expecting it to be. I don't know. I honestly prefer the eyeshadow palette formula that I just used on my eyes than whatever is in this one because it was just dry as heck. Like not even like a soft powdery dry, it's just chalky dry. And then my boyfriend bought me this one, but it's the metal matte palette. I don't know which way says metal, which way says matte. This says metal matte. I think that's really cool. But I bought this palette, or my boyfriend bought me this palette, and I really like this palette. Though the, sh the shade that I was most excited for, which is velvet down here at the bottom, does not work for me at all. It just patches and creases and fades and it was such a letdown. But I do like these shades a lot. I like that this yellow is kind of like a pastel yellow because I did miss out on getting the pastel goth palette, which I really wanted, but I missed my boat and it sailed away and life is like that. <laughs> Those are the four Kat Von D palettes that I still have in my collection. Let me know if you have any Kat Von D palettes. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below and tell me what is the oldest palette that you have and if you have any significant memories with it. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I'm just going to say twice a week for right now because I don't know when this funk is going to come back or not. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.